Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so we're going to talk about dreamscape a little bit, okay? Um, and I was getting dream weaver, okay? Dream weaver. Okay, there is reason that that people interpret their dream, okay? They're called dream interpreters. Okay? It is it is a state of mind, a deep sleep, as if a deep meditation to clear the brain, right? So when we're having these dreams in that state, they usually mean something, okay? Even if you think like, oh, that, that was a crazy dream, it was my imagination, okay? There is still an underlining meaning, like a metaphor, like a riddle, okay? So we're gonna speak on this dream I had last night. Um, and this dream is called break and enter, break and enter, okay? And it's not break and, oh, it's not only break and enter physically, but spiritually. Do you think you are allowed to, to go into that person's across Akashic Records? Do you think that you were allowed to? You weren't, okay? Do you think that you were allowed to, um, force yourself into that person's aura? You weren't, you weren't allowed to, you didn't ask. Okay, you had no permission, just like you had no permission to break into this house, or you don't have permission to break into this house. Okay, someone's trying to break into somebody's house. Why are they trying to do this? Because what they're throwing at you spiritually isn't working. Okay, because out on the town, you're not falling into their traps. Okay, when they set you up, you find a way out. Okay, it's like you're outsmarting their, their games and they're pissed. Go in depth. Okay. So I had this dream and I woke up at 2 in the morning and I wrote this out. Okay, so behind the scenes magic. Let's tap into that a little bit. Oh, look at this. Behind the scenes magic. Okay, throw in magic and then watching to see if it works. Okay, here's a little bit of, of, of what people are doing and why, okay, because I got this last night in the dreamscape, okay, the reason I'm getting in the dreamscape is because these people are trying to do magic on the psyche, working on magic on the psyche, working on what? This is like illegally watching somebody, illegally watching somebody and seeing the pro product of their work. Okay, trying to downplay it. Okay, you know this shit's real. <laughs> okay, you can tell everybody around you that you think it's fake, but you yourself know it's real. <laughs> it's like hidden. It's hidden. It's hidden spots. You're like, what? How? 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 Clear that. How? Okay, so that's one thing is, is the throat, right? Speaking. Um, somebody's supposed to recognize my shirt. Let it sink in. Let it sink in. What does this shirt mean to you? I have no idea. Okay. I bought like more than like a hundred dollars worth of supplements. That's why I got this shirt. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Another behind the scenes, behind the scenes magic, okay? On your work, they want people to think that you're fake because they want them to ignore your gifts. They want to, ign they want you to continue to ignore something here. Somebody sees the fact that you are an empress Okay, that you are knowledgeable, that you are wise, that you are mature in every aspect, okay? It was just their judgment that was wrong. Okay, this is confusing to them. Somebody's ego doesn't allow them to believe this still. Okay, they're still saying lies. <laughs> they're still in a delusion. Okay, this is because they neglected you. Okay, so it's hard to face lies. It's hard to face illusion, when somebody neglected you or ignored you or feels like they missed out on an opportunity, like 
like a gift from God. They were unsatisfied. They were ungrateful. Okay? And now they're in this dissolution, confused. When you come out sitting on your throne, it's like this is why we don't be judgmental, right? Because then we, we act on impulse or we act on what other people persuade us to do when it's really not the truth at all. <laughs> okay, and then we ignore things that were meant for us when we knew it brought us peace. Okay, moving on. Work so that you don't post. Okay, so these people don't want me to post. These people also don't want me to go out to the gym, okay? I put it on my community tab, okay? There was an incident incident at my gym. They don't want me going into the gym often, okay? They want me hermited, and they also don't want me to post, okay? So that when I get snatched up, okay, nobody will miss me. Nobody will miss me, or nobody will think of it as suspicious, okay? Because who are we all kidding? Y'all all miss me. <laughs> you watch me far too much to not miss me in some weird fucking way though. I didn't I didn't consent you to watch me. Okay? This is the only one second. This is the only camera I have running in here. Okay? I only consent to myself pushing that record button. Any other footage of me, I didn't give consent. Okay? Even those even those like studies, I didn't give consent. Watch it die off soon. Watch it die off soon, okay? Because I asked them if I did not give consent. If I'm not involved and I did not give consent, free willingly, one second, free willingly, okay? Without anybody letting me sign some, I did not consent, it'll die off. Watch it die off. Because me being aware with the tarot was the first step, okay? Now my intent, my thought, okay, my words, okay, watch that shit die off. Okay. That is not my work, so it will not work, <laughs> okay? Okay, the crown. Ooh. Somebody needs to go watch the show, The Crown. Also, there is a crown. There's a crown in Saskatchewan. The crown of Saskatchewan. The crown of Alberta. Okay. Go look what the crown does in Canada. <sighs> Was involved. To throw you off. Okay. Whatever that means to you, if the crown threw you off in a certain way, or if the crown threw a judgment off in a certain way, or if the crown was involved in throwing you off, it's something to do with the courts. It's something to do with the judicial judicial system. I don't know how to say that, but that's the word that's coming to my brain. Okay. They want to throw off your psyche, okay? They also want to throw off the entire collective psych psyche. Okay, but it's like, it's affecting them more, right? The reason it's affecting them more is because we have a stronger aura. We're working on self, okay? We have a stronger aura. We know how to protect ourselves spiritually. If you don't, go to my videos yesterday, okay? Use your imagination, okay? That's how you protect yourself to the best potential is visualization, okay? And intent combined um it's a force field of god that's unpenetrable okay so there you go there it is um so the reason that they're trying to oh the reason why it's affecting them more okay the reason it's affecting them more is because their aura easy to penetrate okay okay second thing is they're, they're an open vessel and third thing is like these demons ain't smart. <laughs> Second thing, oh yeah, okay. What was I gonna say? Sorry, I just get, I, I, I get off, I, I get thrown off a little bit, okay? But just a little bit, these people get thrown right off path, okay? Where shit just goes left right away. 
Okay, the reason that it's affecting them more than us is because their aura is easier to penetrate. Second, it's not like they're cutting ties with us. Okay, and karma ain't always a straight shooter. Karma ain't always a straight shooter. Sometimes it hits people you're attached to, people you're linked to. Okay, it, it, it doesn't always hit you. So someone could be like, uh, I, won't, I can be able to take the karma for that. Like, I'd be able to take that. I'd be able to take the karma for that. It's like, yeah, but what happens when it hits the person you love? Okay? It's going to get you where it hurts. It's going to get you where it hurts. When you keep doing this, keep doing this, keep doing this, and keep dealing with karma because you're, you're, you're like, so used to this life. Okay? Why do you think you keep getting those bad phone calls? <laughs> Someone needed to hear that? Why do you think there's so much disease in your family? Why do you think your kids are always sick? Okay. Um. Like you can't be a certain way and expect to, to like raise good people, right? You can't be a certain way and expect your people to be entitled to a great life. Okay, and that, that is on you. That is on you because that's your responsibility to heal self. It's everybody's responsibility to heal themselves, whether mentally, physically, or emotionally. And that's just the truth. Okay. You can talk all of the shit about me, but I'm actually minding my business and I'm actually out here sharing my journey to help myself. And others in in the midst right like and you're just out here planning breaking enters on innocent on a child of God who never did anything to you or the people that lied to you okay so that's crown to throw you off your psyche but it's affecting more than you it's affecting them more than you Okay. Okay. The root. Okay. This is to have you off balance. Okay. This is to have you off balance. This is to keep you ungrounded. Remember how I said I didn't know what that would consist of? Now I do. It came to me last night. Okay. It came to me in meditation. Okay. This is to keep you off balance. This is to not know what you stand for. Okay. This is to have you swayed. Okay. And, 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 the reason that they're doing this is that when they start to add pressure or they decide to break and enter into your house or they decide to come into your dreams or if they decide to stage a car accident, okay, because that's a big one here, or if they decide to stage an incident, okay, because that's another big one here. When they decide to do something, they want you to have to think like, what is it called? survival mode okay fight flight or freeze okay fight or flight they want to put you in fight or flight okay to make irrational decisions that's why they're doing root magic okay so that you don't know what to do you're like what to do what to do what to do what to do i don't know what i need to do okay i don't know how to follow my guides <laughs> like what do i do <laughs> i don't know why i'm talking like that someone could talk like that also, somebody's making fun of you, too. Also, there's a mole. Also, like the main person, one of the main people that are fucking with me have been speaking to a mole this entire time. <laughs> and they're like making fun of that person behind their back. Like, like, like you made fun of me behind my back. Okay, the person you open up to, like big, is making fun of you behind your back. And that's cause and effect. That's karma. Karma is cause and effect, right? But it don't, doesn't always hit you. Whew. Okay. So, what to do, what to do. I don't know what to do. But I do know what to do. Okay, because I'm very aligned within self and I'll always know what to do. Um sacral okay sacral okay they want to do they've been doing this behind the scenes 
magic on your sacral, okay? The reason that they're doing this on your sacral, okay, is to be able to seduce you, is to be able to have you want instant gratification, okay? So if you're feeling this strong urge to do, 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 do with somebody who's seducing you, okay, or like giving you the signals, okay, if you feel this strong urge, try to challenge yourself not to do it. Try that. There'll be, you'll be like, oh, I did it. Okay, I did it. Because when you feel like instant and it wasn't your energy, it, was, it wasn't natural, it just was thrown upon you, okay? Chances are this was, was set up, okay? I've had strong urges before and I, and I didn't do it. And I, I, I didn't fall into so many traps like that, okay? There's, there's, there's t times where I did fall into those traps though. <laughs> And they're hard to get out of. You don't know where this 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 tie came from until you realize. Until you really realize. I have no idea why I'm looking over there. Okay. Until you realize that you need to cut that. Okay. Cut that shit. Cut that shit out. Okay. Because naturally, you wouldn't have had that. Because naturally, that wasn't a connection. Okay. They fucking incubus, succubus, fucking Jezebeled it up before they had this encounter okay so behind the scenes they're also doing vehicle magic or magic on your vehicle via these things that they inserted into your vehicle okay and also like they're just spouting the show right the power of the tongue people are actually using the things that i say and trying to trying to use it against the collective okay you could do that but the people who are taking what i say and using it in a positive way to help themselves is also going to have a combative ripple effect. Okay, and honesty will always win and light will always prevail. And I'm getting Thoth. Okay, so Thoth was a god of knowledge. Thoth was a god of making sure that light prevailed over dark. Okay, so it's like, do you really think this little, this little like poo poo doo doo voodoo is going to fucking work when it comes to a god? Like, this is what it is. <laughs> this is what your voodoo is compared to a god of knowledge. A god of light prevailing over, over that shit. Okay? Whew. Somebody thinks that I can cure their disease. Not without my consent, I can't. Okay? If you're one of these weirdos that wants to steal my blood and my organs and my tissues and my everything, my hair, my fucking every little piece of me. Okay? If you're one of those people... No, I can't. And no, that won't work. Okay? It's actually going to become lethal if you keep doing that. It's going to become lethal. Okay? People are going to start getting weird shit happening to them because it's only my body that can handle that. And it's only these other bo bodies of these other heels can ha that can handle their gifts. Okay? You understand that? We literally have to be able to do it ourselves. Free willingly, give consent, for scientists to be able to work on this kind of stuff. Otherwise, it'll die off, give infection, be lethal. Like, you're doing this for financial gain, okay? And you want to slaughter people to do it. Now you want it to move into calmer waters because you have no more option. You've exhausted all your options when it comes to people being in connection with this person. All these, all these ways you want to go, you always want to go the wrong way. Because of somebody's gifts. Their, their healing abilities. This will be cycled out. Those will no longer work. Watch it all die off. Okay? Because I'm independent and it'll die off. I asked for it too. It's actually going to be poisonous. And, and th that'll be your defeat. The defeat to this new beginning. Somebody wants to drown somebody. And also somebody wants to throw somebody off something like a cliff. But it's like they want to throw them off something high. So stay away from high things. Like this is what they're, they're banking on now. This is what they're banking on now. One second. whole new energy.
energy. Like I released my issues with my parents with, with God. Okay, so even the little things that are trying to get under my skin, they don't. They don't get under my skin and I'm actually able to like, not even just straight up ignore it, okay? But actually interact with it, okay? So it's very beautiful. And, and, and that just shows like where I was at a couple of days ago to today, okay? It's like, but within, in knowing that I have to accept them where they're at, but it doesn't mean it needs to change me or my emotional state. And I'm actually feeling super playful. <sighs> it's, it's so amazing. It's, it's so amazing to be able to like, recognize things for what they are and, and actively work on them and, and see the progress for myself even, right? Okay, so sacral to seduce you so you'll want instant gratification, okay? Try to not deny it, okay? Not deny it, but feel it. Feel it all the way out. And then challenge yourself to not do it. Challenge, feel it all the way. Challenge yourself to not do it. Okay? There's like great power of the mind that like unleashes some sort of like discipline within the mind. Okay? Especially when it comes to seduction. Okay. Oh, but I wasn't on that one. Okay, that needed to be said vehicle they want you to either ha they want you to crash okay and in my dream i was veering to the right okay so they want you to veer to the right okay somebody could have did something to your front right tire check on your front right tire yeah it's like veering to the right that's for somebody or it could be veering anyway okay it, it doesn't have to be that for everybody but that's for somebody okay they want you to have a car accident veering to the right on your home for many reasons, okay, but I just put a little bit of, of what first came to me because there was so much that came to me when it came to your home. So people could have like buried something in your yard or like left something in your yard or threw something at your house. Cancel that. Somebody threw something at my house. <laughs> that was for me. But something like that, okay? Whew, to have where you're living in Okay, fearful. It's a fear tactic. They were sending like an emotion. Okay, they want you to live in the past. Okay, they, they want to bring up old past memories to put you in fear. Okay, they also want to interfere with your dreamscape. So instill fear in your dreamscape. Okay, that was the purpose of this dream too. Like watch, watch what I'm going to do. You know, let me show you what I'm going to do. And I heard someone say something like that, like sweetheart. Like, they're calling me sweetheart and, like, whatever. Like, it shows, how, it shows me how weak they are in the mind, right? How weak they are in these aspects that they're trying to, like, throw off, right? Okay? It, in the psyche so they don't see it, but it's coming out in my dreams. Okay? Living you... You living in fear, you living in the past, okay? They want you to have nightmares. Um, okay, the reason that they're doing this is because they're living a fucking nightmare right now. Okay, everything that they did to you for no reason, everything that they did to you based on a lie, everything they did to you based on fixed documents, okay? Um, if you think that those people didn't have the resources to do that, think again. <laughs> if you think that those people didn't have the means of getting the right documents via their fucking cop friends. Think again. <laughs> okay? Okay. Okay. So everything you did based on a lie. <laughs> Damn. Because, like, I'm not a shit disturber. Okay? I am not a shit disturber. Okay? I used to live... I used to live based upon almost the same mentality, just a little bit fucked a little bit less fucked up, okay? I didn't believe in violence. I didn't believe in violence, but I did have the same mentality at one point. So, like, 
I wasn't a shit disturber. And even when I got clean, I still wasn't a shit disturber. <laughs> okay? There's lots of things that I just keep to myself. And they'll stay to myself. Unless you literally violated my rights. Unless you literally came up to me and attacked me. Okay? And, and I need to speak it to be able to heal it. I'll fucking do that, okay? So it's like, you're planning this shit, and you're not wanting me to talk about it and post about it, but you can attack me? No, 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 no. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't work like that, sweetheart. Okay, somebody was calling me sweetheart in my dream, as if they, like, I was like, sweetheart. Shit, I better show them another fucking side of me. <laughs> Somebody thinks my head is swole. No, I just know a lot. Okay, sometimes I wish that I didn't know a lot, okay? Other times, most of the time, I feel really fucking blessed. Conflicted, because you gathered to do this, and somebody snaked you. There's a mole. Conflicted, because there's a mole within the group. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Provinces, territories, prairie, provinces, and territories. Again, like you fucked with God's territory. You fucked with God's territory. Okay, moving on. That was a whole energy on its own. <laughs> okay, so there's two boys sent to me in my dream, okay? They sent these two boys last time, I heard. Okay, they ended up not succeeding. One of them started catching feelings, okay? And and I'm not the average fall in a trap type, okay? Even if I do, okay, I'm calculated in the way that I get out. So that I'm scot-free, okay, guilt-free, okay? Subconsciously, um, scot-free. And this pisses them off, okay? That you outsmart every targeted attack. <laughs> okay, so now they're sending in the men, okay? These men very much could be mentors to these boys, okay? They had an olive skin tone. Yeah, they handed down, handed down these tactics. They had an olive skin tone, so like a darker skin tone. Olive, but not like, not really dark, right? Olive skin tone and dark features, okay? These boys, these men were masked but they had the same accent, the same accent. You know, when you have the same accent, you know that person came from the same heritage. Okay, they have the same accent, okay? I'm leaving like all racist, all prejudice shit out of this, okay? Because of the prejudiceness that happened to me going through this, okay? People were hating on me because I'm white in color and native, okay? That's not right. It has nothing to do with races, okay? We're all connected, okay? So quit calling people prejudiced, quit calling people racist, and, and being a fucking hypocrite, okay? It's an olive skin tone and dark features. Every single race, every single ethnicity has people with olive skin tone and dark features. Because that doesn't fucking matter, <laughs> okay? Okay, okay, okay. Somebody paid you to do this. <sighs> I'm getting a hustler. I'm getting a hustler. Okay. Because this is giving me repress. And this is giving me distribution. Okay. This is also giving me tainted drugs. And then watching. Ooh, I'm getting watching the soul leave the body. Watching the soul leave the body. Okay, if you guys were not in my energy, I wouldn't be picking this up. Okay, just to let you know. Somebody's like, she's do 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 do. Then leave me the fuck alone. Okay, get out of my get out of my get out of my business. <laughs> get out of my energy. Move forward. Okay, okay. This is reminding me. Okay, there's gonna be like a car accident. That's a diversion. Or there's gonna be like an incident. That's a diversion to inflict fear, to have you stop going down a certain path or to have you stay home 
or to have you so that there's no suspicions when they come and get you or when they come and snatch your kid. Be careful about your guys' school. Somebody could be like in ha having relations with, with um, somebody at the school or a bus driver. The truth about a kidnapping, if your kid got snatched after school, okay, there was some sort of involvement with um, an authority that was supposed that that is actually there to protect your kid. They don't want this to come out, but it's the truth. It's a woman energy that works at the school or with the school. Yeah. Who swooped in and took this action. Flying purple people eater. Snatched a boy. Snatched a boy. Okay, but this could have happened to a girl too because like there's no genders in tarot. Right? But I'm very immature. Okay, this is someone they were sleeping with. Or they're planning this. Very emotionally immature. This could be a, a masculine too, actually. I, I really need to quit saying a woman or a masculine. They want, oh, I'm getting false CPS reports. Okay, so there's a teacher or a principal or a bus driver that's giving false CPS reports to make you look like a non-nurturing mother so that you don't get this money of yours, okay? They're involved too. Either a bus driver, a principal, a teacher, a TA, or anyone that works with the school, okay? They're making false CPS reports. They're making false police reports, okay? to affect your motherhood, okay? This isn't the first time they did this, did this to me, right? This isn't the first time they did this to me. And I used to fall into their trap too. Now I just don't fucking talk to them unless they literally call me from the school number. They have to literally call me from the school number for me to engage in something and I take a deep breath. I say, God, speak through me, clear and concise. Thank you. Hello. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to look at that. Hello. <laughs> Jit. Emotionally checked out. Depressed. Somebody's mad that I'm speaking on this. Walking away. Good. You should walk away from this. Okay. And there's objects. What were the objects? First of all, the, the front door was pried open, okay? Or kicked in. Ooh. <clears throat> the, the mole, the mole that's been watching you, that's what they're calling you, kicked in. They're calling you kicked in. Damn. <laughs> okay. There was certain objects, okay? There was a spray paint can. A spray paint can. Okay, so these people could be spraying the camera, okay, having masks and spraying the camera, okay. There is also a surgical knife, okay. I'm just going to list them out. I'm not going to say what they're for, but there was a surgical knife. There was outfits that they put on and took off right after, okay. They bagged them up, okay. There was a torch. There was paraphernalia. There was a bat. There was duct tape, electrical tape, rope. DOC, gloves, masks, boot, boots, weapons, okay, a pry bar, uh, a soldering kit, and the corner of the front door was like either kicked in or pried open, but they got in, they got in, okay, and, and the thing was they were going to send one person in, the tactic was they were going to send one person in, make loud noises in the house, sweep the house, so that somebody would run out, okay? But then a, a good handful of them would be waiting outside to capture. Okay, and then whatever this means to you, 
but I was drawing this and I didn't know why I was drawing it. But it was like boom, 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 boom. Okay. Or like a door being kicked in. Okay. So karma. Okay. And I thought I was going to have to write all these out, but I'm just going to have to do this. What is karma? Karma is cause and effect. Okay, that's what it is. It's cause and effect. So equal and opposite. What is it equal and opposite to? Because it doesn't always have to be an action, okay? Um, it is equal and op opposite to that plan's purpose. It is equal and opposite to intention. It is equal and opposite to moral value. It's equal and opposite to virtues. It's equal and opposite to freedom. It's freedom, free will. It's equal and opposite to your motive. Okay, so even if you think this, or even if you turn a blind eye to this, we get fucking karma. Okay, there's no such thing as an innocent bystander in in in, um, in universal law. <laughs> okay. You can't pay the universe money not to give you karma. Someone need to hear that? <laughs> Somebody's in, having a ooh, mental breakdown. Somebody's having a mental breakdown because of their sex magic not working or backfiring. Yike. Okay. So you can like do this yourself, okay? Cause and effect, karma is cause and effect equal and opposite to what I just said. Some, but sometimes karma doesn't always happen to you, but the people attached to you or linked to you, okay? Or the people attached to you and linked to them. It's like Russian roulette, motherfuckers. <laughs> it's like Russian roulette with your life, and the people you love's life, and the people they love's life based on what you do. Okay, so let's just work through this together. What would be the equal and opposite to a sex worker's karma? Somebody not valuing them ever in their life. Maybe. Maybe. Right? Somebody not valuing their children. Um never being able to have healthy relationships because not knowing what it is, okay? Think for yourself. It could be any form or fashion. Karma's tricky. It's tricky, okay? What would be, what would be the karma for magic? I don't know. What, was that, what, what did you intend to happen? For them to be broke forever, okay? Did you intend that, okay? Because it's going to happen to you. Careful what you wish for, right? Did you try to affect... Their stability. Maybe it's you never really knowing what to do. Okay. What about brainwash? What about the karma for brainwash? Whew. That's a heavy one. Think about it. Okay. Think about it. What would be the karma for brainwash? What would be equal and opposite? What would be the equal and opposite for sexual assault? First thing that comes to my mind is going to prison and getting sexually assaulted. Okay, how how did you want to do this to this person? Brutally? Okay, that's how you're gonna get it, or that's how somebody else is gonna get it. Okay, it's like well, that's why you don't do it, cause like especially if you have kids, man. <sighs> somebody has sexually assaulted their daughter, and it was a masculine, and they've been in my energy before. <sighs> they made them think that this was love. Ugh. I'm not going to say the name because I just heard the name of the daughter. What would be the cause and effect for kidnapping? Okay, because that's a real life thing. Okay, that you guys tried to do, you tried to plan. What would be the real life? What would be the karma for theft? Probably getting robbed, right? Probably getting robbed. What would be the karma for 
um, instilling fear. Probably have something bone chilling, right? Like, what do you what are you scared of? What is it you're scared of? <laughs> what would be the comma for astro projection? Astro projecting negative energy. What would be the fear? I mean, what would be? There it is. Fear. Not knowing, not knowing what's coming next, not knowing how this shit's gonna hit you, not knowing. <laughs> Um, them protecting themselves and it boom boom <laughs> I mean boom boom <laughs> it's just bouncing off right um, what would be the comma for living a lie every everybody finding out everybody finding out and attacking you or humiliating you or telling you you ain't shit scum piece of shit because you are <laughs> um what would be the karma for one upping someone or downplaying their situation? When that person rises and when that person's strong, everybody gonna know that you don't even compete. And this is why you had to get so many people to beat them down, right? Right? What would and that like what would be the karma for pulling strings behind the scenes? Losing all your resources because you're a fucking liar. Okay. What would the comma be for vehicle tampering? Okay, let me tell you that one. That's a fucking car accident at high speeds and getting thrown out. Someone's going to break their leg and fracture their wrist. Damn. Damn. Head injury. Major head injury. You know, I, I, I pray you have a speedy recovery and in that, in that you live. Because that sucks. Like, have you ever, like, had to live with someone at the... Or, like, had to live with, like, a loved one of someone who was, like, affected by a brain injury? It affects the entire family. It just does. What about the house and property? What would be the karma for, for, for um, throwing magic at somebody's house and their property? Of faulty foundations. Okay, that's somebody's sense of security. Okay, so maybe not having security. Okay, that that is like the that is like the um, that is the no go zone. Okay, that's why people say like, um, what do they say? Home free, right? That's why people say home free, right? Because you're free to be yourself, or at least you should be. Okay, that's a no go zone. It's off limits. Okay, unless you're a piece of shit scum like these types of people who are like trying to break into someone's house over what? Pride, ego, um, feeling like they need to what? They got something to prove, okay? It's really not worth it. If you understand, if you understood this, Okay, you would have stopped a long time ago, but nobody's taught you this. Like your mentor should have taught you that you don't fuck with innocent people, one. Okay? You don't fuck with people who are of the light, two, who have a huge belief system. And this isn't just be like this isn't because even when like I was like had an understanding of the lifestyle, I even knew that. You only fuck with motherfuckers because you don't get karma for that. Okay, if you fuck with innocent people, if you fuck with people who got out in a safe way, in a non-shit disturbing way, you leave them alone and you let them live their life. Okay, because if you don't, bad shit starts happening. It's bad juju. Even I knew that. Okay, your mentor should have taught you that. Like, but this is, this shit's common sense. It's it's and and they don't teach you that because it's like a rule. They teach you that because someone down the line did know about spirituality. Okay, that's the entire reason the whole group started to begin with. Oof. It like it was like a lot more respectable back in the day. Like like Anyone who would have started this would look at you guys and be like, what the fuck did we do? Like, right? 
I wish we would have never started that shit, right? Because you guys are like, I don't fucking know what that shit is. That's the truth. They're like looking down and being like, I wish I would have never started that shit. I wish I would have never started that shit. And they're actually in the ethers crying. And these are like the hardest motherfuckers, okay? Who actually started this shit for a reason, whatever you're a part of. And they're crying, they're sobbing because they're seeing what you do. They're seeing what you do to women and children, okay, who are actually supposed to be cherished. They're like, what the fuck? And they're, they're actually going to balance this out and expose this. <laughs> this betrayal. This is a fucking kid snatcher. This is a kid snatcher. Yep. Now they don't know what to do. <laughs> now they don't know what to do. This could be someone who works at a daycare too, or a babysitter, or the school, or a bus driver. Or if you, if you go on local transit, okay? Somebody was paid to do this. Now you're enlightened. You're enlightened on a break and enter as well. It's like nothing's working, nothing's working, so they're going to try to break in. And they're also doing sacral magic so that I'll enjoy being sexually assaulted. What? The fuck? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like if you think shit's bad now. Part of someone's karma is a broken leg, a, a fractured wrist. Someone's going to go blind. Someone's going to be tortured. Somebody's going to be assaulted, sexually assaulted brutally. Somebody's going to uh, be exposed in many ways, exposed to the elements I was getting, exposed online, exposed on TV, exposed in articles, and exposed in the nude. Okay? And those are forms of karma in specific Okay, those are things that I got, but moving on from karma, because you can decide. <clears throat> okay, and then financial karma, because that's what everybody cares about, right? Financial karma, chaos karma, no resources, no resource karma, <laughs> downplaying karma, okay, underestimating karma, humiliation karma, bullying and gang stalking karma. Okay, and sometimes karma doesn't always happen to you, but the people attached to you or the people linked to them okay it's where it's where you i'm hearing home it's where the heart is home is where the heart is okay moving on okay we're gonna speak on this <laughs> i need a moment okay certain illusions have the go ahead from god okay so God and the devil have a contract. They actually work together. That's why I'm like, whatever you throw at me is actually working for me. Okay, because who do you think has the real power here? Okay, so when I say that, I mean that. <laughs> okay, I just have to transmute it into positive and it's mine. And then it's mine. Okay, it works for me now. It works for me in my life now. Okay, and I don't even have to do anything. Um, and that's where real power comes from, right? Being able to harness energy. <clears throat> okay, so certain illusions have the go-ahead from God. Okay, so prediction, prediction time, because time is an illusion. Okay, they're able to manipulate time. Okay, down, down and out. So the times when you're down and out, people are able to believe that they got you. That's an illusion that God is like, go ahead, <clears throat> go ahead. Allow them to believe that <clears throat> it's actually God. That's like, okay, I'm going to make you believe that. I'm actually going to put a thought in your head that makes you know that. Okay. 
easy defeat. Okay, when you think somebody is an easy, easy defeat, okay, God will put weird thoughts in your head that you free willingly thought before. Okay, like, boop. <laughs> okay, these are like the go ahead, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, manipulate them that way. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> it's a part of their karma. Yep, yep, yep. They'll have it set up in a way, okay, God and the devil will have it set up in a way where you fuck yourself, okay, free willingly. So certain illusions have the go ahead from God. A last minute fallout or a last minute made it out on time, okay? So this is this will aggravate you. This, this is an illusion caused to aggravate you. This person was never going to get trapped to begin with, okay? You were never going to get away with this break and enter or this kidnapping to begin with, okay? So it's a last minute fallout or I made it out on time, okay? This isn't, this isn't order for the devil to fully further manipulate. Like how far can he take you down negativity? Okay, how far can he lie to you? How far can he manipulate you? Okay, because he's going to laugh in your face. He wants your soul and he'll do anything to get it. Okay, and you'll free willingly give it to him most, most likely. Okay, for, and it's all for power, money, and status. Is it not? It's all for power, money, and status. God and the devil have a contract, and this is why, okay? This is why demons cannot will, and will not ever truly affect us when we're on our purpose. And even if you're not on your purpose, but, you're, but God plans to have you there, God plans for you to have a spiritual enlighten, enlightening, okay? Because you're mostly of the good, you, have, you don't have ill intent, okay? This still won't work because you have a greater purpose down the line. Okay. It's based on free will, intent, purpose, motive, virtue, moral value, and love. Okay. Um, so if you have free willingly decided not to do something, okay, because you have moral value, because you have virtues, okay, you practice virtues, your motive isn't ill, okay. You you do have a purpose in life. You do want to find what you love. You do want to find what you love. That is your intent. You have positive intent. God will save you. God will like pluck you out of the bunch and be like boop, boop. <laughs> okay, and and then you'll have an awakening, and then these people will have karma. God wants you to move away from these people so that their karma doesn't hit you because karma is is unpredictable. Okay, so. Make free willing choices for the positive, okay? Have good intentions for yourself and people. Try to find your purpose in life. Follow what you love, okay? Figure out your moral compass, okay? And improve it, okay? Figure out what virtues are and how to practice them in your life, okay? And ask yourself when you're confused, what is my motive here, okay? And change, okay? This is how to be a decent human being 101, Okay, and the angel number today is 101. Angel number 101. Okay, have a good morning, people.